Retired statesman and military mastermind, Brigadier Coleman Street Jacket Trumpet III is lead agony hand for the Whippet Digest. From his war room, strategically located in the middle cubicle of a popular public lavatory, the Brigadier holds a thrice-weekly problem-solving and advice surgery. Dear Coleman, I wish to convey my concern at the overall integrity of politicians as a hell. Only last week, I was shocked to discover that the party I had hell-heartedly supported since adulthood have apparently been receiving political donations from a large manufacturer of fertilizer. That is carcinogenic to humans and absolutely deadly to bees. As for my elected MP, he has been good having sex with minors and fiddling his expenses. I can assure you that politicians are the respectful stewards of civilization, and without them, the world would deteriorate into complete anarchy. Any oaf knows that fertilizer is essential for growing healthy food in abundance. Without it, the entire world would starve, creating the perfect store for some zombie, cannibal, apocalypse, thingamajig, or such. Even if there was any truth in such absurd cancer allegations, just think of the jobs created in the health sector. Further, these are just totally useless bumbling buffoons. Just think of how wonderfully quiet and safe the countryside would be without them. Back in 1916, I was unfortunate enough to be severely wounded by a sting from one of those buzzing bastards while sunbathing behind the front lines. I had to be rushed to hospital and was absolutely outraged to miss the daylight attack on the heavily fortified enemy machine gun positions the following day. Allegations of sexual liaisons with minors are probably some silly misunderstanding, and I'm willing to wager he was just helping them out with some pocket money after a stressful day of banqueting and debates. Everybody has to pay it forward somehow, and I can recall as if it was yesterday my splendid encounters whilst cruising the lavatories at the rear of the local bus station. If there was any irregularity with his expenses, then it was probably an innocent clerical error by his secretary whilst daydreaming about sofas, shoes, or kittens. Even a complete dullard could see that your politician chap is the real victim here. As you seem to enjoy issuing letters, then consider writing to your MP to thank him for representing you, and perhaps inquire if he needs his shoes cleaned or some other menial activity in line with your diabolical lack of intellect.